Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. Now I must apologise straight away here. I'm going to apologise. It's not my fault. It was a software issue. The recording failed and I hadn't noticed that it stopped recording. Uh, we started this episode at 8 o'clock in the morning. You've missed a lot. I'm so annoyed. We've done so much and so many bad things happened. Um, I'll see because there is a part of that. Hopefully it's still there and I'll see if I can recover it and put it on at the beginning or jab it on at the end of this one so you can see it. But it's now midnight. <laughs> midnight. I am. So, I only noticed because I looked over as we just came through the the the, the tunnel to travel back to uh, Black River from uh, the dam. But here it is. It is midnight. We started at eight a.m. We've lost eight hours. So this is going to be a short episode if I can't recover what was there. I will show you what I did if I go through Smithfield Dam. Right. So we came in. We had the Fleet Star here, the Land Rover was still there if you remember rightly, and the Pacific P-16 was initially up there. It is now, uh, I'm going to show you, you'll see it from here, P-16 has rolled over again. <laughs> <laughs> and we've not got that, oh I don't think we've got that, but the P-16 is on its side. I've tried to pull it over with the Land Rover again, but I can't, it's buried itself in there. All I was trying to do, I wanted to back it up. So I could turn it around, so I could move some more vehicles through. Uh, it wouldn't back up, so I thought, right, I'll take it forwards, I'll roll it down, and then I'll roll it back up. It didn't even turn, it just just, just rolled. Just rolled. So that's there. I've been beating myself up about that for the last 30 minutes, and I don't think you're going to be able to see that, unfortunately. So I picked up with doing the jobs that I wanted to do, so that was across the river. So we grabbed the trailer, we went across the river, we delivered it there. I then went across picked up the tools, got the tools, and I took them back across the river, and then we took that trailer of tools all the way around, passed our P-16, made me cry, come back through, we took a little shortcut, uh, come out here, and then come down, drop them, and they got dropped off at the warehouse, once at the warehouse, we picked up some bricks, attached the repair trailer that was there, then I brought the Land Rover, which was over here, because I brought it to refuel the Fleet Star, just in case. Brought that back around, cried as we come past P-16 again. And come here, we repaired the Land Rover. I restocked its repair points from the supply zone. And that's just sort of sitting there for now. I then took the Fleet Star with the repair trailer. And the repair trailer is now, or the service trailer, is now parked up next to the fuel trailer at the garage. I was saying that we need to, at some point, come down, probably with the Land Rover and just grab this scout fuel trailer and move this fuel up over here somewhere because I think we're going to have to travel through here a few times and need to top up some vehicles or maybe even bring the big one through. It would be nice if we could get a vehicle down here and to repair that and I'm hoping I can leave the P16 down here for a little bit and work without it and come down with the White Western start and see if we can pull that over but I am concerned that I will then lose the White Western Star as well. But that's going to be eight grand, another eight grand for a full recovery. And I can't afford to keep losing that money. So that's what you've missed. That was 30 minutes of um, oh, pure anxiety and anger and rage and embarrassment. And I'm now here in um, Black River with my bricks on the back of the Fleet Star. And these are going to eventually get transferred over onto the. Um, I'm not sure if it's a flat bed or a sideboard bed on the White Western Star. I think it's a sideboard bed. Let's put the lights on so we can see. Um, yeah, so there's there's that. Now, as for chat-wise, what have I been saying? Um, I'm, I'm struggling with the controls because I'm flit um, obviously I'm, I'm playing a lot of expeditions and the controls are a little bit different, so we keep making errors in uh, how to change gear and turn lights on and we keep on the handbrake on. We don't need to because the handbrake in SnowRunner is how you activate gears and everything else in Ex Expedition. So that's happening a lot. Uh, I was then saying before we travelled through, I've had a little bit of feedback over the last sort of few weeks, month, and or from recording this anyway. This is this is being recorded ahead of time. People asking or commenting on on my style, but it's a little bit. Here, it's a bit of a mess, and you know, if I planned it, I could do things and stuff. I 
this is how this is sounds silly. This is my style. This is how I play the game. Um, was that I, I, I absolutely love watching Wessel on Wheels, and he's got an amazing, logistically almost perfect playthrough um, that I've seen anyway. I've, he's sort of just about to finish up Alaska at the point that I'm watching, and it's absolutely brilliant. And I'm looking forward to him going into Tymere and all the other maps. I, I don't play that way. Um, my brain isn't as organised as that. I don't have a run sheet. I plan that out what deliveries we're going to do, where and when. Um, this, that's just not how how I how I do it. It sounds like it's just not how I do it. There's um, had a few comments as well asking why I don't uh, um, like pick up the stuff that I know that needs to go somewhere, like on the jobs that I've activated. Why why aren't I running it all at once, like? having this trailer and filling this up with um, all spare parts and then like delivering all the, the service parts at once and then doing something else to deliver all the the metal and stuff like that. I don't like to do preemptive deliveries so I, it's very rare that I've done it already. Once or twice we have I think just through coming through to a different map we've bought something for a different job or but where I know I need to move um, obstacles we've got spare service parts through and then gone and got the fuel for whatever it is we we're going to do but as a rule that's not something I'll do because once we get out of here and out of Alaska everything is going to be new for me as, as much as I've played this game I've pretty much exclusively played Michigan and Alaska because I keep doing restarts and losing saves and things corrupting and, and for different reasons I've never really gone very far. I've certainly never done a hard mode and got anywhere. And like I said before I don't have a run sheet, I don't pre-plan it, I don't pre-play it so I've not got another save running in hard mode where I'm like oh, okay if I do this I do that then this is where I'm going to be and this is what I should be able to do before I don't roll my truck and stuff like that. So I never have like a, a preordained route, which, you know, probably isn't the best way to do it. Or hard mode. But again, that's how I play. It's just my style. And, and again, I, I could, even if I could do that, for, and I could do it, I could do that for Michigan. I know how Michigan works. I know what we need to deliver. But like I say, I, for the other, what, 12 maps, I couldn't do that because I don't know them. I don't know them that well. So Alaska and Alaska I've played through and at the moment at the point of recording this we've sort of come and I think near the end of Alaska on our Twitch series which is played completely different from this it's a little, it's, I mean it's erratic like this but it's a normal mode, we've got a lot more mods running and, and doing different things um, so yeah there's there's lots of different factors that go into how I'm playing and why I'm playing it this way and one of them is that I'm just not good enough and the other one is it's just it's just my style of play, and that's you know, I guess that's what little difference I have to offer at the minute is that this is <laughs> how am I going to get that in there? But this is just how I do it, and maybe in time, hopefully we're going to do more of them. We'll do all the maps eventually. Uh, hopefully, you know, maybe that'll change. Maybe we will get a little bit more insight into it, we do, we'll do a little bit of planning, but for now I, I just want to play it as I'm playing it, I'm having fun, I, I don't take it too serious as much as I want to be good I just don't take it that serious in that sense like, I'm not worried if I look bad I'm not worried, I don't want to look bad trust me, I, at no point do I, did I get into a, 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 a YouTube gaming channel and think that's alright, it doesn't matter if I look rubbish. But I can't worry if it's not a perfect run, is what I'm saying. I'm not going to worry if it's not a perfect run. See this twisted round. So, yeah, that's sort of the chat that we had for about 30 minutes, along with some other things. I really hope that I can recover. I don't know why that failed. 
I mean, we had audio issues, but I've been noticing that the, the recording isn't happening. I took the time to uh, fix the mic as well. Had a Windows update and I forgot to check that everything's uh, working hunky-dory. Whenever I get a Windows update, and I'm sure others are like it, get a Windows update, your audio seems to reset. The audio settings on your mic and stuff. But my mic wasn't really showing great audio, but I was going to fix it in editing. And now we should be alright. If anything, I'll probably be too loud. Windows had set my mic to 60%. So if I am about here, we will stop our engine actually, we'll change trucks, and go out, let's start the engine don't we, right. Pack cargo. But yeah, if you're interested in a, a really logistically minded, well planned out, well thought out series in a hard mode, check out Wessel on Wheels. Lovely chap as well. Has come to join us for a few live streams, um, doing different things on here as well. So I greatly appreciate that. Okay. Store that. Turn our engine off. So we've got some fuel down there somewhere. Oh, that reminds me. We're going to have a look. Is the fuel... What's that for? Missing machine. We're not done missing machinery. We are. I hate missing machinery. We're going to try and do this. So... That fuel tanker is still there. Does that fuel tank need to go first? It doesn't. Okay, good. Because we've got this loaded up. So we'll see if we can get these in. And then... Because I've not got my P16, we will try and attach a high hitch onto here. Why am I going this way for when? We should be able to go through there. That should be the easiest route. Get fuel lever, did I? Yeah, White Western Star should be able to get through that, no real trouble. The so, refuel? Oh, I took out the Kodiak, but that's alright. <laughs> I always, always fill up and re re refuel and repair from the, the wrong things. Uh, when I repaired the the Land Rover, uh, I took it out of the <laughs> repair points for the toolbox that's attached to the Fleet Star. That was a mistake. These things happen. Now, we may not have time. This is now starting to brighten up. We may not have time to get the fuel tank, but... Again, I am so, so, so sorry for this being half, half an episode. I did notice as well, I don't... I don't generally sit through and watch my videos after. I put them on because uh, I, I dropped my uh, little comment underneath that gives you the links to different things. And I, not, I let the episode play, play through in full, but it's just normally on my second screen when I'm doing something else, normally while I'm doing some editing or something, so I don't pay attention to it. We had an episode a while back that for some reason is like 27 minutes long as well, and it's from the start. But I, and I don't keep the videos after this. After a little while, I just delete them. I need to stop doing that. Because I could have re-uploaded -up, re that. Because that was a full episode. Now, no one commented on it. No one said anything about it being short. <laughs> so, thanks for everyone for not watching it all the way through. Um, <laughs> so, I'm not too worried that it was short. No one got to the no one got to the 27-minute mark and went, oh, where's the rest of this episode? 
<laughs> uh, so perhaps no one will even notice this. So they'll be like, oh yeah, just start at midnight, off we go. But yeah, so I, I do apologise for this this one. I do apologise for that one, but no one noticed the other one, so <laughs> not such a concern. Madness. But yeah, that was a full episode, it, it you know. It took two hours to render, just like it always does, and it took all day to upload, just like they always do. And then when YouTube released it, it was 27 minutes long. <laughs> Crazy. Love the jingle and the jangle and the rattle of the, the beams and the bricks on the back here. I'm hoping we're going to have enough power to... Uh, to get us across it. This is a, a nasty bit of water we're going to try and get across. There should be plenty of winch points. Now, a large part of today was... We're not going to have time to do this delivery. A large part of today was eaten up now by me explaining what he did in the first half an hour. That took up the first 10 minutes or 20 minutes of this. So. Yeah. And I was saying as well, I need a reset episode. This is something else you miss. I need a I need a reset episode where we just go out, we do some logistical stuff. Or, you know, because I'm not logistically minded. I don't do it as I go along. I need to think, right, we need to move some fuel tankers today, we need to come here, here, and here, we need to restock stuff you know, and I think I need a, I need a bit of that. But I need to get some jobs done. I need to be able to Oh dear, I need to stop rolling my trucks. Honestly, I've never rolled trucks like this before. Never. I've never I was going to say I've never rolled P16 as much as this, but uh, until this series and my Twitch stream series, I, I never really used it, and I used it here, like, first. So, yeah, to say that I've never rolled it as much is true, because I've never really used it before, but we have never rolled it on the Twitch stream in, in all of Michigan, and we used it a lot. I say that, we might not have done actually. I think don't think we did. I think we used it a couple of times because I have all the DLC trucks. And that's why I was using it a lot here, because I hadn't used it much. So don't let me lie to you again. So what I might do is because this is a little bit of a half ass thing. What's the time now? Seven. Is there anything else? Because I'm not going to get across that in time. I know this. Is there anything else that we can do with our fleet starting that time? I don't think there is. I'm not going to pull that. But I could pull that with a fleet star if I put the... High on it? I don't know. Probably not. Let's probably not do that. What else we got? We've got GMC, which is doing anything. Kodiak, which is a fuel trailer. We still need to do food delivery. Which shouldn't be all that hard, actually, now. Up and across. And, and, and through, isn't it? It's not, not a difficult one. Yeah, I'm a little bit torn. I'm, a, I'm still a little bit devastated about... I'm, I'm just wasting time now. I'm a bit devastated about what is going on with <laughs> with my P16, if I'm honest. Um, I pass seven. I can't even get the, the Land Rover down to pick up that trailer in time. I can't. Just, I'm just so annoyed about this. And I don't think I have in the garage here. We have the is it the Trans Star that we picked out down here somewhere? Is it the Trans Star? I think it is. And a Kodiak. So that's nothing that's going to be powerful enough to pick up the P16. I tell you what. Oh, how much money do I have? How much money do I have? Where's my money? Thirty-one grand. Do I just recover it now and bring it back through? Is that what we do? 
Because we're going to need to. Oh, can, I can pull. I can pull with a high. But I'm going to need the P16 to pull the bigger thing. I think. So I'm still going to need to recover it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. We're going to end. We're going to end here. We're going to end a little bit early. And I want to have a good think about what I'm going to do for the next one. Again, I apologise for the mess that this episode is. I gutted that you missed the mess that it started out as. I will see if there's a way of recovering whatever was recorded for that part. Oh dear. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little chat and, you know, me just updating you on how much I'm messing it up, really. Um, if you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, they're not always like this, but they are like this, if that makes sense. Go back to the start, watch it over. We've also got lots of other content going. Turn your bell notification on, hit the subscribe button, and um, hopefully I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.